This is LG's 34WK95U-W 34-inch 5K 2K ultra wide monitor. And I never thought I'd say that in a sentence. It is called 5K 2K because technically it's not a 5K display because if it was, it would come with 5120 by 2880 resolution. But this being 21 by 9 aspect ratio screen, it comes with 5120 by 2160. Therefore, LG and most people refer to it as the 5K 2K monitor. So think of this as a regular 4K monitor, but on steroids, offering 33% more real estate. Ultrawides nowadays are not uncommon, but this one is special because most ultrawide displays are quite poor when it comes to pixel density and sharpness. This one, however, is not. In fact, if there was one weakness, it will be the 60Hz refresh rate, which automatically excludes it from the gamers list. This monitor, however, was never designed with the gamers in mind, and LG markets this beast as the ultimate content creator display, and I think they nailed it. Hey guys, this is Z, and I've had the pleasure to test and share with you my thoughts on this ultra fine, ultra white beauty, which unfortunately was at my studio only for the purpose of this video. LG, if you're listening to this, this is my third or maybe the fourth LG <laughs> review that I'm making, so feel free to hook me up. While it was me here, however, I realized why this screen is targeted at content creators and most of all, why it is better than a standard 4K monitor. So I've had dual screen setups in the past, and I even have a massive 43 inch behemoth at home, but this panel is better than all of them. It is better than a standard 4K display because of those 33% real estate on the left and the right. I immediately noticed this once I stretched my Final Cut Pro timeline and pulled out all the color correction tools. It was awesome. All panels fit in just right without losing or squishing any of my active tools. Same goes for image editing since I was able to place all my layers, color and font panels and still have plenty of canvas to work with. Sure, I can have two 16x9 displays right next to each other, but the bezels in the middle, they're always there and they're quite annoying. So the 34WK95U-W comes with ultra-thin all-round bezels and up front it looks very, very classy. The stand is height adjustable only and you can somewhat tilt it. Of course, this being an ultra-white, vertical orientation is not possible via the stand. Unlike other displays, the power delivery is nested inside the casing of the monitor, so not having to deal with an additional power brick is quite nice. The monitor has built-in speakers that could get quite loud, but I wouldn't call them anything special. If you are on a Mac, you won't be able to control the volume via the operating system though, so keep that in mind. Brightness levels are also not adjustable via the Mac OS, and for that, you'll have to use the monitor's on-screen controls. On the other hand, the screen comes with a brightness sensor which will auto-adjust the monitor according to the surroundings. Peak brightness of this LG is 600 nits, and although true HDR can only be experienced at 1000 nits, the high dynamic range is quite impressive. Nano IPS controls color better, covering 98% of the DCI-P3, which covers over 25% more color space than sRGB. As a result, you can expect more accurate conditions like shadow detail, color saturation and brightness for precise editing and overall control in post-production. On the back, things are just as good. The monitor comes packed with all the essentials, one of which is an absolute key for me. The USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, which I would use to run and power my MacBook Pro, now supports 40 gigabits per second data transmission and a whopping 85 watts charging capabilities. In comparison, my older 27-inch LG only supports 60 watts, which is not ideal if you keep your laptop on its toes most of the time, like I do quite often. So on the back, the ports are as follows. One headphones out, one USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, two standard USBs version 3, one USB upstream version 3, two HDMI ports, and one display port. 
few things to mind, one being Mac OS specific and one applying to Windows users. For my Mac OS peeps out there at the time of this recording, you might experience a wake up bug where the monitor comes to life at a broken resolution. The only way to fix this is to turn the display off via the on-screen controls and wake it up again by pressing the power button. It's a sporadic bug and it was on the Mac mini, so I'm sure this could be fixed via a software or firmware update. For all the Windows users out there, things are more complicated because if you want to use the HDMI ports, you won't be able to output the maximum resolution and most likely you'll be capped at 3440 by 1440. Depending on your video card, you'll have to use the display port and even that might not guarantee the possibility of powering all those pixels. I'd suggest watching Linus Tech Tips coverage on this monitor. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. So the 34WK95U-W currently runs at about $1,100 US, although you might be able to find it cheaper on some occasions. I'll also put a link in the description. There are definitely cheaper 4K monitor solutions out there, but having an almost 5K resolution at an ultra-wide package with 85 watts Thunderbolt 3 charging and insane data transfer capabilities alongside 98% DCP3 color space with built-in speakers is difficult to find and pronounce. So I would call this a fair deal. If you found this video useful, maybe give it a like or if you didn't like it, just give it a dislike. But any, you know, any interaction helps the channel. So just click on any of them. But whatever you do, do not subscribe to this channel, okay? remember that. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.